Hello and welcome back to the Crypto Consortium. Hope you all fine ladies and gentlemen are having a great day. So last time we looked up how to sign up to Binance and how to fund your wallet just to begin. Today we're going to take a more detailed look at how to actually trade altcoins on Binance. Okay, so basically to buy, we're going to click on buy. Nice. And to sell, we're actually just going to click on sell. And that's about it folks. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys have a yeah, so before you actually buy an altcoin on Binance, I just wanted to go over the basics of the things that I look at before I decide if an altcoin is worth investing in. I think it's very important to do your own research before you make investment decisions, otherwise you will lose a lot of money. The first and I think most important part of looking at a crypto is its white paper. A white paper details the underlying blockchain technology of a currency. By taking a closer look at the white paper, one can see if its features have already been invented by another blockchain. Maybe there's a crypto that already does exactly what the crypto you're looking at does, but more efficiently. To get the white paper, head over to coinmarketcap.com and click on the coin that you want to read about. You can then find the white paper here. If not, it'll be on their website. If the cryptocurrency or blockchain that you're looking at doesn't have a white paper, I would say stay away and stay far away. I'll be making a more detailed white paper analysis video in the future, but for now just know that the white paper is crucial to investment decisions. So the second thing you want to look at is the market cap ranking. This doesn't indicate that a currency is good by itself, but when a crypto has a good white paper and is also in the top 100, that's a good sign. I don't really recommend dabbling in the coins less than 100 because um, I would recommend you get more experience before you do that. Um, you can lose a lot of money uh, betting on altcoins that are not really worth anything um, just make sure that you really read the white paper and look at the community support behind the currency you're looking at one very important thing to look at additionally is the price action and history of the crypto you're looking at I'll be going into more detail on how to do technical analysis in a future video series but to keep it simple just look at the overall price movement within the last week last month three months and maybe a year some basic questions to ask are, is it uptrending or is it downtrending? What patterns can you notice in the graph? For example, Ethereum's pattern looks more like a, a staircase than compared to most cryptos. When it reaches an all-time high, it seems to stabilize around that before moving to the next all-time high, unlike Bitcoin and other currencies that are more like a roller coaster. In general, you want to buy low and sell high. Contrary to popular belief, you don't need to go crazy with lines and markers to be able to see what general direction this graph is moving in. However, they do help significantly. Lastly, take a look at both the current and future news along with the online community behind the crypto. A lot of cryptos are still in their infancy and have yet to release their key features. For example, Icon already has partnerships with several huge multinational corporations and has special features like its loop blockchain and interoperability feature that could make it a dominant crypto in 2018. Bitcoin has its lightning network in the works. A few really cool cryptos with amazing blockchains would be Ether, Neo, Qtum, Ryblox, and Salt. Of course there are more that I'm interested in, however I don't recommend looking into too many cryptos when you're just starting. And those are pretty much the bare minimum conditions to look into before deciding to invest. Again, everything stated in this video is just my opinion and nothing in this video is investment advice. Happy trading, subscribe for future videos, comment what you'd like to see in the future, and until next time.